Since it is the new year, I thought it would be a nice ministry resource to kick off the new year to focus on Bible reading plans. One of the great resources for that is Uversion, their website, Bible.com. You can go to Uversion.com as well, but Bible.com, uh, you need an account. Uh, it is free. Once you've got an account, you'll see a number of options across the top of the page. Home, Read Plans, and Video. If you go into the Plans section, you'll see all your previous reading plans if you have any current ones, or you can discover other ones. Uh, one that I found that I thought might be interesting as a ministry resource is one called the Reformation Reading Plan. Uh, this one focuses on key chapters in the Bible over the course of the year that were very influential in the Lutheran Reformation. Those passages that focused obviously on uh, uh, the Word, uh, Sola Scriptura, uh, the Gospel, um, those things that uh, God used to enlighten the, the reformers and uh, help them understand what, uh, what the law and the gospel, justification and sanctification uh, were really all about. The U-Version plan that is provided here is from uh, a district from the Missouri Synod, the Michigan District of the Missouri Synod. It's listed down here. Very easy to start a reading plan, uh, regardless of what time of year it is. Uh, since this is uh, January, great time to start a reading plan. All you have to do is click Start This Plan. You can also see a sample. If we go into the sample section, we'll see that day one of 365 days begins. As you might expect, uh, certainly some passages from Genesis, but also John chapter 1. We hear about the Word, of course. Uh, then you see all the days list. You can kind of thumb through these and see what uh, the plan is all about. If you go ahead and click on Start This Plan, uh, you also get an option. And New Version is really good about the, the social nature of, of these reading plans. They're asking if you want your friends to see uh, your activity. I'm going to say yes here. And it loads up the plan. And now I have a checklist. So as I'm reading through these, I can check these off. I can click Start Reading. And as I start the reading, it's going to start with the, uh, the first um, selection, which was John 1. You can change the version that you're using. Here it's defaulting to King James. But if I wanted to uh, use the New International Version, I could do that. Another thing I really like about the U-Version reading plans, or the U-Version Bible in general, is the ability to um, listen, so you can have it narrated to you. So perhaps if you're reading with somebody, or if you're coming across a section of Scripture that has some particularly difficult names uh, that are that are listed, sometimes to have sometimes good to have those narrated for you. And then you can navigate through your reading for that day just by clicking on the green arrow. It'll take you to the second reading for that day. A number of other features make it really nice to kind of walk through the Bible in this fashion. If you just click on a section of Scripture, uh, up will pop the ability to share that. Uh, you can share that with other people. Maybe some insights that, uh, that you want to share with a friend or family member. You can take notes, you can bookmark, uh, you can highlight, uh, just kind of a nice personal reading tool. And when you add a plan on top of that, it allows you to uh, set reminders for yourself. You can get email reminders, you can get reminders within the apps that are available. For instance, on your iPhone or your Android device or tablets. Those all come with uh, capabilities to have uh, notifications that will pop up that will remind you, hey, you haven't read uh, your reading for the day and kind of keep you on track. So just a nice ministry resource that will keep you uh, in God's Word and kind of focused as we're dealing with the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. Here's a nice little Reformation reading plan and a nice tool, uh, the YouVersion app at Bible.com.